What is going on VR Explorers? I'm Joseph Guernsey and today we're going to be assembling a virtual reality gun stock for the Quest 2. This thing was on Thingiverse and it's by Sanlanki Games. I'm super excited to use this in games like Pavilar or Onward, especially Onward. That one I'm really enjoying at the moment. Uh, I don't want to take you along on that journey. We're going to assemble this thing. We're going to see what we need and we're going to put it together. So I hope you'll join me. Let's jump right into it. Let's get over to what we're going to need. Okay guys, let's take a look at everything we're going to need for this build. And as you can see here, these are all the 3D printed parts that I got off Thingiverse from San Lackey Games. And now let's move on to the things you have to purchase. This is everything we're going to need for this. We have two Velcro straps here, a couple of screws for the magnets to attach to. Oh, I almost forgot. We need these controller grips right here. These go to the actual Quest 2 controller grips. <laughs> One of the most important parts of the build here. Uh, but these magnets, this is a 90 pull force and this is a 60 pull force uh, and they will fit in the top of these grips. Okay. And we also need eight inch pipe right here. All these things are listed on the Thingiverse page of San Lackey Games. The link to his Thingiverse page will be down below in the description. You're also gonna need some type of a screwdriver. I'm just using one that came out of a computer repair kit that I had. Okay guys, let's go ahead and start assembling this thing. The first thing we're gonna take is this small piece here this is a coupling. It also has a place for our strap to hook to with the Velcro. Okay, and then we're gonna need to take two pipes and we're gonna go ahead and start threading on the round side here first. And you just wanna gently screw it in. You don't wanna force it in. <laughs> Sorry, it's squeaking a little bit. Uh, I don't know if the mic's picking that up. And I'm just gonna gently force it, but not over force it. You just want to wait till it stops turning basically okay and then we can take the other pipe and go ahead and insert that on the other side and screw that in Whew, that squeaking noise all right and again you don't want to over tighten these and strip out the plastic or the 3d printed part should i say okay and the next part we're going to take is this is probably where accessories would go on a real gun the accessory mount well i mean it has that right there uh basically part of the barrel and we're just going to slide this over there like that again we're wanting this uh velcro strap holder to be on the top when we're finished screwing it all together here in a minute but that's how it's going to sit when it's finished then we're going to take the main body this is the main body of the gun stock here it says San Lackey on the top there. Uh, my 3D printer didn't do a perfect job of printing that out, but it's good enough. Okay. And now we want to just slide that on the end here and make sure that the body is overlapping the rail part right here. And then we're just gonna start screwing in the pipe from the coupler. Just start spinning the coupler and you'll feel it tightening it up. You don't want to over tighten it because you could end up busting the plastic threads out of the 3D printed parts. But you want to try to get this uh, Velcro thing on the top here. So I'm just going to over rotate it until that's on the top, hoping it doesn't break. It's getting pretty darn tight. Okay, a little bit more. Please don't break on me. Okay, mine's not perfectly aligned, but it's pretty close. Uh, it's close enough that I'm not going to complain about it, and it's definitely tight thing ain't going nowhere so that's about as good as I can get it okay the next part we can go ahead and screw on the uh, I guess you could call this a compensator or the tip of the barrel if you want just uh, this is more for looks than anything I guess keeps the sharp edges of the pipe away from your hands so I guess you could say it's a safety thing okay there we go we got that we're moving on to the back part now we're going to take another pipe here and we're just going to put it in the back side of the body. And again, just screw it in, but don't over tighten it. 
when it stops, you really don't want to keep going. You can slightly turn it, but not too much. Okay, there's that. And the last part we're going to put on is the butt of the gun. And we'll just put this on right here. Okay. And we definitely want that facing. I guess you could do it up like that, but I think it's intended to go the other direction. I could be wrong. Let me see here. Now I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go all the way over. So I'm going to go ahead and over rotate mine just a little bit. Don't want to break the plastic. Again, you can hold your gun like this. I don't know if you can see. I'm holding it and I'm making sure it's all lined up this way. So mine's slightly over tightened. I'm just going to loosen it until it gets just about straight. And that looks pretty straight right there. This is lining up with the body. So there we go. And that is basically the gun assembled. Uh, I'm going to zoom the camera out here in just a minute and get a full shot of this. Uh, okay. Oh, and I almost forgot there's a little red dot reticle right here that uh, is purely for cosmetics but it does look really cool when you have it on there it makes it look more like a gun and you can just slide that on the top of the main body okay the next thing we're gonna do is put the magnets in the controller grips that will attach to the gun itself so I'm gonna move this out of the way and we're gonna get the controller grips assembled I've got everything set up here uh, that we're going to need for this part. This part's pretty straightforward. It's almost impossible to mess up, I think. Um, you've got your 90 pull, 90 pull force magnet here and your 60 here. And you can't really mix them up because the size difference is so big. Uh, one's really big and one's real small. And they only fit in one or the other. So I'm going to put one here. This is the 90. And you're going to set the other one in the only one that it'll fit in. This is the 60. And then we're going to take the screws and we're just going to put the screws in. And the magnet's grabbing a hold, but that's all right. The screw should pull it down and we're just going to screw it in with the screwdriver. Again, you want to do this extremely slow because you're screwing into a 3D printed part. And I may speed vamp this because this is going to take a second. <laughs> the magnet keeps pulling my bit out of my screwdriver. You may want to get a regular screwdriver for this. It's a pretty strong magnet. Okay, and you want to just screw this in until the screw quits turning. You do not want to over rotate these or you will strip the screw out. And then you'll have to reprint this thing completely or order another one. Okay, and now we'll do the other side. Also, be sure to get the screw in that teeny, there's a tiny hole inside there. Make sure you're screwing into that and not just in making a new hole with the screw. That would not be good. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this again. Alrighty guys, and there you go. I got both magnets screwed in there. Again, just screw them down until the screw stops. You don't want to force it any further than it, than it uh, wants to or you'll strip that out and the magnet won't stay in. Uh, okay, uh, one pro tip before we move to the next part, and I just thought of this. Handling these metal pipes that are assembled with the gun, these pipes right here, one tip you can do is take something and wipe them off. Wipe them off real good, clean them because they have, sometimes they come coated with oil and just they're dirty uh, just because of what they are. So I recommend wiping those off extremely good. And then even after you're done assembling your gun, I would suggest cleaning your hands, go wash your hands. You don't wanna grab your Quest 2 controllers and get black, rusty brown gunk all over your brand new white controllers. So I highly recommend wiping those off. This is just a recommendation, but I suggest you do it. That way you don't dirty up your brand new Quest 2. Okay guys, so we're gonna move on to putting these into the controllers and we're gonna take a look and see what the gun looks like. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go wash my hands. 
Okay, now that my hands are clean, I'm gonna take my Quest 2 controllers and we're just gonna insert these into the controllers. Also, one thing to note, the inside of these things have a letter on them. Let's see if you can see that. There's an R, this is the right hand controller. So you need to grab, that's the left hand. You can easily determine which one goes to what hand by just picking them up in the one that fits in the right hand. So this is gonna be the right handed one and this is the right controller. So what you wanna do is you're just gonna gently squeeze on this side and this side of the grip while you push it down in there. It's fairly simple. Not much to that part. Okay, and there you go, that's in there. Okay, that one's done. And now we'll take the left and do the same exact thing. We're just gonna flip it the right way. Give it a small squeeze and it falls right into place. And you wanna push it in there. You may have to rotate it just a bit to get it to go. Okay, and there you go. Those are in. Give them a little bit of a wiggle. Make sure they're pushed in there well. And there we go. We now have grips ready to go onto the gun. Now we're gonna attach the, the gun sling strap to the gun. That way we can let go of it when we need to in game and uh, we don't have to sit it down every time because that would be very inconvenient. So I had to change out the Velcro straps that I was using. Uh, the ones that I had before were too thick. So I've got these, I think these were like $3 at Walmart. Just a pack of like 10 of them. So not a bad deal. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna insert it right here through this little slot on the top of the gun. So you just wanna force that through, pull it. And then what we can do is just roll it tiny for now. Okay, there's one Velcro loop. And now we're gonna flip the gun around and on the butt, you will see this open triangle. We're gonna put the strap through there and have it come out our uh, side here. Okay, so just like this, insert it there. Actually, I need to go from the top because this fat part will not fit through. So we're gonna start it through the bottom here, pull it down through and back up through the hole. Just like sewing, I guess. Okay, we can leave that like that. And here is the strap that uh, Salaki suggested on his Thingiverse page. I just, like I said, ordered the parts that he recommended. Uh, and it looks like a pretty good quality uh, gunsling. I'm no gun enthusiast or expert, so I don't know if this is a quality one for real guns, but for this VR gun, it's absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and attach these ends to the gun itself here. I may have to adjust the straps as well. It looks like it's a bit long, but that's okay. So we're just gonna pull that tight. See if we can push this through here. May have to fiddle around with the Velcro to get it just right, guys. Again, this is not holding like a lot of weight, so you don't have to have it extremely tight. Okay. Okay, there we go. I believe that's gonna work. Feels pretty secure on there. And now I'm gonna run the strap straight run it through my hand so that it's not twisted or anything weird like that and we're going to attach the other one to this side now so we'll just take this stick the velcro strap through the gun strap or sling pull it tight and just roll it up there we go and now we have A gun with a sling on it so when we're in the middle of a game we can just let the gun hang from our neck and not have to hold on to it all the time okay guys 
uh, let's go and see what this thing looks like fully assembled. All right, guys, so here it is, the fully assembled VR gun stock. I think it turned out absolutely amazing. Again, I wanna thank San Lackey, San Lackey Games. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> I might have just butchered your name. But I'm absolutely grateful that he put these files on Thingiverse for free. Uh, again, you still have to buy some parts, which will cost you some money. But I still think it's highly worth it. I can't wait to try this out in Onward. Uh, and you guys can join me for that. I plan on streaming uh, Onward in the near future. Uh, sometime either this week or next week. Well, since this is the weekend, it will probably be next week sometime. <laughs> I will catch you all in the next video.